Now I'm going to turn the intensity down. And I'm going to turn the rate down on the phaser. And I'm going to turn the intensity down on the chorus. And that's it. No, it's not it, actually. Um, most of the EV series synths have a lot more going on under the hood than you would imagine. So let's look under the hood. Go to the little open disclosure triangle here on the left-hand side. And look at that. We have some more effects available to us. Since it's not a sample that's playing back, this is an actual model. So on the left, we have times. So the decay, if we wanted to decay really quickly when I hit a note, I pull my decay down. So it's decaying really quickly. Now I'm going to turn my decay back up. And my release is when I actually let go of the keys, how long the sound is going to hold. Fairly subtle as releases go. But turn it up, and it really rings for a while. Now let's go to the volume. The bell-like tone that we can get out of an electric piano. We can adjust that bell-like tone here. More bell, less bell. And how about the damper? The damper is, a, is essentially the sound that happens when you let go of the keys. If I turn this way up, it's very pronounced. So that's pretty cool. And then we have sort of our stereo image. So. That's actually spreading along the keyboard so that the lower you go on the keyboard, the more it goes to the left speaker. The more that you go up the keyboard or up in pitch, uh, the more it's going to spread to the right. So next to that knob, we have our stretch area. Now, what is stretch about? Okay, well, if we turn this one to full, then it's going to actually detune the keyboard slightly as we go into the lower register. Barely perceptible, but when you place it in a mix or if you're playing around with it, um, you can get some really interesting sort of richness out of it when you're playing big chords. The upper stretch just does the opposite. Basically, if I go up to full, then as I go up the keyboard, it's going to slightly tune the keyboard up from uh, standard tuning. Once again, very subtle, but it's a nice addition to our model. And then we have something called warmth. Actually, it's a randomization of pitch that every time you hit a key, it's just slightly different. Kind of like a real electric piano. If you're digging on it for a long time and you're playing a lot, um, the tines are slightly out of tune. 